OK, we're here now with Fate Keith Jagans, who have just set a new world record on the 1500. Well done, Faith. We've got quite a few number of questions that have come through for you, obviously. Yeah. So we'll start with, with the Polish media. So have you felt before the competition that you could run for the world record here tonight? Um, I didn't expect to run a world record. I was looking forward to run a world lead, uh, which was 354. But I didn't... I didn't expect a world record. This just came as a surprise, and I really thank God. I, uh, I really thank my coach, my management, for coming along and just telling me to be patient and just run my race. Yeah. Um, what were the conditions like out there, and was this helpful for you to achieve the, the world record here tonight? Yeah, absolutely. The crowd was really, really nice. Fans were jeering. That's why I was pushing the last 400 meters, knowing that I've left the wave line behind and everything was possible in front. And yeah, I was just focusing myself towards that finish line and see what was possible. Yeah. Uh, Tracktown, Tracktown USA have also a few questions. Um, when you heard the bell, what was going through your head at, at, at that moment? Ah, I was still feeling strong. When I heard the bell, I was feeling I could still push more than that, um, more than I had. So I was really, really pushing and just hearing the crowd like, go, 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 and I could still go very fast in the last 200. Yeah. Why, why did you decide to go for the world record so early in the season? Um, I was not expecting to run uh, this uh, world record so early like this, uh, but it just came as a surprise and I believed in the training I did and I knew everything was possible. My thoughts coached me, yeah, you are in perfect uh, shape ever, so you can go there, just run your race and just focus towards the finish line. Yeah. And last one, we promised this one from NBC Sports. Um, will you keep running the 1500 after the Paris Olympics or will you switch to another distance? Um, I don't know, but let me still uh, be head up towards Budapest first this year and see what is possible this year to defend my title and towards uh, Olympics next year. And then after Olympics, we will see what is possible. I'm going to try if I can uh, swift to 5,000 and just going forward to marathon <laughs> yeah why, why the 5,000 uh, I want uh, next week I will be doing 5,000 in Paris uh, to see what I can do in 5,000 and uh, yeah after after uh, Paris Olympics uh, I might swift to 5,000 I really like 5,000 it's long distance and yeah I uh, yeah I want to swift to 5,000 well, yeah. you've, you've said that and just like see what you're doing knowing Faith Keep Yegan you're not gonna make it easy for anyone else what should they be looking out for? Um, I know there, is, there are, there are uh, very strong uh, ladies in 5,000, but I'm going to just run my race, feel how my body is, and just see what is possible in 5,000. I've run before, uh, but it has been a long time, so I want to see what is possible next week for 5,000. Yeah. Thank you very much, Thank and well you. done. Thank you. Thank you so much.